Hello everybody, how's it going? Today I am revisiting the Anastasia Beverly Hills sub sub subculture palette. Ding! If you haven't seen my previous video talking about this palette, make sure you watch it first. I give a little bit more of an in-depth review and first impressions and swatches and things like that and I'm very honest and just a brief overview, I don't hate this palette. I love the colours, I want them to work, so I thought I would film a wearable look because obviously the look I did in that video was very bright, I wouldn't have even worn it on a day to day basis. So I thought I'd film something that I would wear day to day um, and show you that this palette is usable, it isn't completely unusable. So here's the look I managed to create, I really hope you guys like it, links to everything I used are down below and without further ado, here we go. So we're back and we are trying again with this puppy. As you can see, I have actually got some use out of this palette since my last video. I really love Adorn, you know, I've been playing with the colours, trying to make them work for me. So I'm going to do the look that I've kind of just about sussed out. So the first colour I'm going to take is Dawn, which is this light transition shade. And I'm just going to apply this in my crease. I'm going for like a nice kind of grungy halo eye today. This is a nice colour, it's a nice peachy transition shade. I am now going to go in with the shade Roxy here. Now this to me is definitely one of the more powdery shades, but it's also one of the nicest to blend, so we're going to be okay with the powder for this one. Um, and this I'm popping into my crease. I really like how Roxy and Dawn blend into each other, bringing it nice and high up here. I am now going to go in with a little bit of New Wave, this is like my favourite shade in this palette. And I'm just going to warm up the edges of Roxy, slightly, pull it up nice and high. I am now going to take the shade New Wave again on a slightly denser brush, tap it off. And I'm going to pop this in the inner and outer crease. Again, blending this up nice and high. Now we're going in with the shade Fudge, which I definitely have found the trickiest to blend. So I'm going to take the smallest amount, and this is going to go for a start on the outer and inner lid. What I find is you've just got to start blending the second it makes contact with your skin because otherwise it grabs so you just have to tap and blend 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 okay on to the next shade so we're gonna go in with the color all star you can tell for this look i've stuck with my kind of go-to tones um and i'm just packing this kind of on top of fudge this is more to just blend into the center because fudge doesn't really blend out to nothing, it can get a bit muddy. So if we put All Star just on top, it just blends out a little bit nicer but keeps the depth of fudge. I'm now going to spritz my brush. And in the centre of the lid, I'm going in with the Dawn. I do just prefer it with a damp brush, obviously, you know, do whatever you personally prefer. I just think it makes these colours pop a bit more. Blend in those edges. The only downside to this shade is it does take quite a lot of building to get it to that colour that you know it should be. I am just going to go in with a tiny bit of rowdy, barely any, just on the lid, on the inner and the outer. This is what it needed, it needed a little bit more depth. Okay, here is the top lash line done. I'm just putting a bit of my Tarte Shape Tape under the eye. Oh my god you guys, it is Monday night and you know what that means. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm so excited for Game of Thrones. I feel like I haven't spoken too much in this video. This palette it makes me concentrate. You do need to concentrate. I'm sorry if I didn't talk a lot, but I'm chatting to you now. <laughs> do you know what else is on tonight? Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Literally my favourite programme ever. Using my Rimmel translucent powder, which I love so much. I know I said that this look was wearable, it started, when I did this last time it was wearable. But I just kept building and now it's not so wearable, sorry. <laughs> right, under the eye I'm taking New Wave. I'm going to take this quite low and I'm going to make under the eye not as dark to hopefully make it slightly more wearable. But I'm just building the yellow up on the outer corner and 
blending it into the yellow at the top there. This is definitely my favourite colour in the palette. It blends beautifully, it's crazy crazy pigmented and also it's like a burnt orange yellowy shade and that's so me. Next going in with a touch of All Star. Applying it nice and softly under the eye and then going in with the new wave brush and buffing them together. Okay, as my highlight I'm going to use the shade Cube and I'm going to softly put that under my brow really lightly. This is very pink. It kind of doesn't even look like a reflex pink, it just looks like a pink. So um, be nice and gentle. I'm not actually sure if you can see it, it's very subtle. But I've got like little pink, kind of like pink highlights. So I've been wearing a lot more pink recently in my makeup. So I quite like this actually in my inner corner, it looks fun. I'm going to whack on some mascara and then I'll be right back to finish the rest of my face. Okay, onto the blush and the contour. Whee! I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer. <laughs> A little bit of Well Dressed from MAC to go with my inner corner highlight. Okay, I'm going to highlight using my Lottie London Shimmer Squad and I'm going to use The Good Girl. I'm also just popping a little bit of the good girl in my inner corner just to tone down the pink slightly and make it a little bit more of a pastel pink. For my lips, I'm using Love O Beige. So from Glory. Something easy. Okay, here it is. Here is the completed look. I really like it. I mean, yes, it took a little bit more effort than usual to get the blend. And yes, there's a little bit of patchiness in the darker shadows. But it's a look. In my opinion, it's wearable. I don't hate it. I think that the eyeshadows, most of them worked really, really well to create this look. I think it turned out pretty and I would wear this out. I am wearing this out. I'm heading out in about five minutes and this is the makeup. This is how my face is gonna look for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's not all bad about this palette. Obviously I gave a very honest review in my last video talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, subculture palette so if you'd like you know a more in-depth review and first impression then check out that video if you haven't seen it yet but this is my just trying to use it creating something that I would wear day to day and I do like how it turned out so I hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful I hope you have the best day and I will see you in my next one bye